Right, Clarets, fan reaction, Hull City won, Burnley won. Um, well, we could have won it at the end there, couldn't we? Um, but we wouldn't have deserved it, in all honesty. Um, I think first half we were poor. I think first 15 minutes, let's be fair, first 15 minutes we were good. Um, we dominated the play. We were very good first 15 minutes. Um, we just struggled to get a shot off um but we were you know we were controlling the ball well um we were passing it round well i thought for the first 15 minutes we we completely had hull on the back foot um and i think had we been able to nick a goal in that first 15 minutes hull would have struggled to get back into the game as it were they did get back into the game um and for the rest of the first half, we were poor. Um, after that, we were very sloppy in possession. Looked like we were struggling to string two passes together. Um, and Hull created a lot of chances. And fair play to them, I thought. They defended well. Um, I thought they came forward with a lot of intent. And yeah, they they, they deservedly went in at half-time in the lead. Um, the goal was... A little bit fortunate, um, massive deflection off Brownhill. Trafford has to do better. I know we've all been singing his praises so far this season, but he does have to do better for that goal. Because um, even though it is deflected, he's there. He's you know he's basically got his hand on it. But yeah, like I said, they they deservedly went in at half time in front. Um, in second half, I thought we came out looking much better. I thought we were going for it a little bit more, um, but the it just wasn't happening. Um, and then obviously we've made the change and bringing Laurent on and a guy on, um, and I mean the game's changed from there really. I think Laurent again when he came on, he he's made the difference. Um, dropping him from Saturday, I don't understand it. Um, I believe obviously, you know, he's he's not started. Oh no, he has started. Sorry, um, the last few games, so he may be a little bit fatigued. Um, but I I wouldn't have wouldn't have started him. Uh, I wouldn't have benched him tonight. Sorry, I would have started him. I'd have liked to see him in the starting eleven. Um, and he's certainly the first name on the team sheet for me on Saturday. I think as soon as he came on, the whole game changed. Um, or at least we looked more attacking. We looked like there was more chance of us getting a goal. Um, but yeah, and, and I, I was happy to see a guy come on. Um, you know, obviously he's a player that we've signed back in company's championship season. Um, and then obviously sent him out on loan. Then he's been injured. Then, you know, for whatever reason, he's not been in the squad. And he's been on the bench since like the start of this season really. Um so I'm, I was glad to see him come on. I feel like he didn't get much chance when he did. Um I think he he had some sloppy touches. Um you know he he couldn't quite reach the ball sometimes when it was played out wide to him. But I think that's just a lack of match sharpness. Um I think it'll come and I'd, I'd like to see a bit more of him cuz I do think he will be a good player. I think he is a good player. Um, and I do think he'll come good for us, but I would like to see a bit more of him. But then, yeah, it it, it all, like I say, it sort of changed when Laurent came on. Um, but the massive change was when Fleming was allowed to play in his natural position in as the 10. Uh, and Hotanji coming on and going up front. When he came on, I thought, oh God, why are we, why are we bringing Hotanji on? But I think him coming on and allowing Fleming to play in that 10 role. As soon as that change was made, I mean, it can only be minutes between Hatonji coming on, Fleming going into the 10 before Fleming did get the goal. Obviously, he's in an attacking position and he's in, in the box to get the goal. But I think when he did come on and he was playing in that role, it changed the dynamics. Everything about our style of play was changed um and i think that had a massive massive impact and then obviously we've gone and got the goal um i'd like to see him stay on a little bit longer 
I love J-Rod. Everyone knows I love J-Rod. Um, I thought he did well when he came on. Obviously, a lot of people this season have given him a lot of stick and I, I personally disagree with it. I think he, he needs a little bit more respect being put on his name, but I would have liked to see Fleming stay on for a little bit longer in that 10 role. Um, but yeah, how we've not nicked it at the end, I've no idea because that ball's knocking around. And anyone could have got on the end of it. And unfortunately, Anthony's fallen over his own feet. And I mean, he'll probably get a lot of disrespect from that. He'll probably get slated for that. But I think he was one of our better players today. Um, obviously, he's got the assist for the goal. But I think down that left-hand side, he, he created a good few chances. Um, or at least got us forward a bit more. So, yeah, I'd, I'd like to see that team stay like that for a little bit longer before we did make that final change um but yeah overall it's a point um i mean you looked at social media at half time you would probably have thought we were in the bottom three um with the meltdown that was happening especially on twitter um but yeah i think it's very hard not to compare this season to that season under company. Um, I mean, we ran away with the league that year. Um, and obviously, we're currently sitting second in the league this year. Um, we've not ran away with it like we did that at that time. But we're still only 11 games in. It took us a little bit of time that time round. Like I say, it's really hard not to compare it because we've had so long in the Premier League... And then we've had basically two championship seasons so close together. And last year was so poor that it's hard not to compare the good season that we had with this season. Where from the outside looking in, we're having a really good season. We're in the top two. You know, we, we've been in and around the playoff area since pretty much day one. So it's hard not to compare those two seasons with each other. Um, but in the early stages of that season, we weren't that great. We were struggling to turn these draws into wins. You know, the amount of last-minute goals that we conceded in those early games to end up as draws, we eventually found, you know, we had that click we eventually found that click and we eventually came together. And I think, I know it's probably getting repetitive, but we've still not found that click day. We've still not got to that point where we are going to rip teams open. We might not rip teams open like we did in that season, but we're in a better position now than we were in that season. And like I say, it's hard not to compare those two se these two seasons because that's the most recent experience we have of this league. But I think when we're not doing well and we're still getting results, that's what champions do. How many times do we say that about teams like Man City? They're not playing well, but they're still grinding out these results. They always say, win your games at home and at least a draw away. We've lost one game this season. And that's away at Sunderland, the team that are the only team above us in this league. So, yeah, I think it's very, very unfair to be sort of judging at this moment in time, saying that we're not good enough, saying that we're not going to get in the Premier League, that we're not going to go up. Scott Parker doesn't know what he's doing. I'm hoping he'll hold his hands up tonight and admit that that starting 11 wasn't the right starting 11 to make. You know, the the tactics to start off the game weren't right um but hopefully he'll address it for saturday and you know he, he made the changes tonight that he needed to make okay i would have liked to see fleming stay on a little bit longer after the goal but he made the changes tonight that he needed to make and we've ended up with a point against let's be honest hull weren't bad tonight I think a lot of people with their position in the league are expecting us to go and get four or five goals against a team like this. This is the championship. 
you've got to remember that any team can beat any team in this league. And that's the beauty of it. But we've lost one game. It's only against Sunderland. We're second in the table. We've ground out a point when we haven't been at our best. Second half, we were much better, but we still weren't at our best. But we've got a point away from home. We're up against QPR on Saturday. Let's go get three. Up the Clarets.